thanks to Rip Michaels. This is my first paid gig as a comic. I appreciate that. I don't know how many of my motherfucking jacks he got to put on. This nigga changed more than Aretha Franklin. But I've learned so much in these 12 weeks, man. I've learned there's a lot of camaraderie in the world of comedy. I've learned there's a lot of growth, a lot to learn. But not a lot of money for a new comedian, you know what I'm saying? And I never knew, you know, it was, you know, tight like that, you dig? But I, I see now that what we need is a union. We need a fucking union. Us comics, we need teamsters. We have demands. And as much support as people like Rip and other veterans have been giving me, man, you wouldn't believe it. You know, some comics are upset that I'm up here. They don't think that I'm up here. They don't think I should be here. They don't think I've earned the right. They don't think I paid my dues. Nigga, what dues, nigga? And pay them to who? You don't even have a fucking union. I'm trying to help you out, nigga. Now, I'm here to tell you one thing, and I'm going to say this with a clear conscience and a pure heart. Fame sucks, okay? Enjoy your anonymity as long as you can. Okay, uh, yeah, what, what's your name, baby? Yeah. Okay, anonymity, that is the act of being anonymous, okay? Thank you so much for raising your hand. And so many motherfuckers that want to know what the word means, you the only one to raise your hand. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you why I say that. Just imagine, I'm gonna give you some, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you some advice. If you see your favorite motherfucking uh, celebrity, do yourself, do me, and the celebrity a favor. Before you go approach these people, think about what the fuck you gonna say. You understand what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you what happens. Imagine me sitting down with my family for the first shot of tequila of the day. You know what I'm saying? And I see a motherfucker in my periphery doing shit like this. Yeah. Is that you? Well, yes, nigga, I guess it is. And a motherfucker always want to take a picture and say shit like, nigga, I gotta take a picture. Ain't nobody gonna believe me. Well, you should stop lying so motherfucking much, nigga. That ain't my motherfucking fault. And I'm gonna tell you another thing. To be honest with you, my kids don't know who the fuck I am. My motherfucking kids, I obviously don't know who the fuck I am. I got one, his name's King. I put up motherfucking college fund money for Major. I had to put up bond money for King. I'm really worried about this nigga. You dig what I'm saying? I'm going to give you a piece of advice. Please don't name your son King, because the shit don't work out with God damn it, it don't mean King like the next King. This nigga mean now, nigga. I'm going to choke spot with the neck. Hey, God damn it, I think I know why. I think I know why. I believe I know why. You see, a while ago, he was about 10, 11 years old, man. I think this is where the animosity started. The nigga walks in, caught me slamming his mom. You hear me? Nailing his mom. We ain't been the same since. But God damn. I'm going to tell y'all motherfucking ass like this. I got, you got one more motherfucking album out of me. It's called Kill the King for motherfuckers like you. And I appreciate y'all because you made me the absolute best, nigga. New York has made me the motherfucking best, nigga. I appreciate you. Stages like this has made me the motherfucking best I could be. Appreciate that. Now, Another thing that my daughter does, can you believe my daughter know all her motherfucking mama shit, don't know none of mine? How the fuck my daughter know all her mama songs? They're my favorite motherfucking songs. She hear what you know. It's like, who's that, daddy? I can't fucking believe it. But the good thing about having sons so early, now they're at a point in their life where 
They asking me for relationship advice. My son asked me shit like, Dad, how do I know if she's the one? Nigga, I don't motherfucking know. I tell you what you do. You treat her like a lady, be a gentleman, take her out, keep her hydrated. Wait until that absolute moment where she has to, you know, number one. And what you do is, you drive her up to a nice fancy gas station and tell her this the gas station with heated seats in it. You let her get out, you go in that goddamn gas station. If she come back out that goddamn gas station and say them seats weren't heated, that's not the motherfucking one she sat on that gas station toilet seat. That bitch is for the streets. I'm telling you for the, I'm telling you now. Any respectable woman in this motherfucker know you go to a public restroom, you cop that awkward motherfucking spot, and you got there pull your pants down, not past your knees, don't want to touch the pissy flow. If she don't do that, don't you bring that bitch home. <laughs> Now, now, I will say, it's always the motherfucker with a bad back tooth got something to say. Smell like a dead body in his mouth when he opened it. I will tell you that. Hey, listen, man, you ain't been here. Gentrification just started about eight years ago. You just got here. I ain't gonna allow this from you. All my niggas I'll take it from. You, sir, I will not allow it. I will not allow it. Fight back. <laughs> I tell you what you do, envy. I know I got an advantage. Do some songs. Start rapping. I have an advantage, nigga. I wish that motherfucker would. You sorry, ungrateful motherfuckers, you. <laughs> I wish I motherfucking would. Hell is you talking about? You got the right motherfucking one, man. I really do appreciate, hey listen man, I ain't gonna lie to you. I love you motherfuckers more than you ever know, nigga, and this is something that I enjoy doing, and I appreciate y'all allowing me the opportunity to stand up and do what I love, nigga. You hear what I'm saying? Yes, indeed. Because you don't know how my motherfucking house go. You don't understand that my wife got down. She, she, she was a star before I was. She constantly reminds me of that shit. She say shit to me like, nigga, I was uh, platinum in 94. What the fuck were you doing? Selling dope, dear. What the fuck you think I was doing? Man, I appreciate y'all, man. It's been my time, man. Tilt Harris. You dig? Let's go. Bring them out.